Hey everyone, so um, I wanted to do a video of my uh, travel fix kit. Now, originally it was just a couple of things that I used to carry and then it's sort of built up over the uh, over the couple of um, years that I've been sort of building up my toolkits and, and adapting to things that I need to fix when I'm, uh, when I'm traveling or when I'm away from home, home. Um, they, I, I always like to be prepared for things and I always end up being the person that has to fix things or needs to fix things and I always like to be sort of self-sufficient. Originally I used to carry everything, um, it started off with just my um, my shoe polish kit. Now this is still my shoe polish kit so I have brushes, the applicator and some cream and the, the, the other tools that I carry are still sort of kept with the, with the shoe polish kit and um, I'm just going to go through over some of the things that I, I carry. So obviously the base is, has always been my shoe, shoe polish kit. Uh, with that I carry now a um, the Stanley, uh, the um, tradesman's knife. This is absolutely perfect for uh, getting into things, cutting boxes, uh, especially when you when you are abroad and you need to order something or you need to get into things. That is perfect. Um, I carry the um, the Nipex multi tool. This can open open different types of faucets and so on. Uh, the security keys and so on, and it also comes with a um, a screwdriver. Uh, and the good thing about the Nipex is that they have literally uh, taken care of the, the sharp edges. Uh, the sharp edges are actually um, beveled to a 45 degree angle so they're not going to be stabby uh, and it's also magnetic so it just literally comes together and it's kept together on a mechanics keychain the, the, or this entire combination comes to, like this from Nipex uh, I carry these uh, bulb pins uh, instead of the normal safety pins I like carrying these bulb pins because they're just so far, they're just so much more useful because on um, the normal safety pins it tends to you can only use sort of half of the pin whereas with this you can make it like a keychain or you can reshape them or but even, even just like this it's just far more easier to repair clothes or repair um, your bag or anything like that uh, with these and they're just usually called um, gourd pins or um, bulb pins. Uh, tough tape just another version of um, duct tape. This is, I think, this is two-sided, so this is absolutely perfect again for fixing things. Uh, I carry these. This is the multi-tool. This is um, th this part is like a scissor part, a clamp part, and um, it locks together like a forcep. It also has a screwdriver, a small screwdriver here. These are actually fishing ones, but um, they are absolutely perfect for uh, literally just doing small intricate repairs these are absolutely perfect uh, now the bigger thing I always I also always carry um, the bulldog clips the standard stationary but I mean these can if you need to sort of clamp something down these will these are really really helpful okay so this is the I've done a full review of this kit this is the the other tools that I carry um, I've just added a black sharpie to this and I've done a separate review on this one, but this is really, really helpful. I, um, I, I've been using this. This is just standard. Uh, when when you buy soap, uh, it comes in like a pressure, um, in like a bottle. So I've just taken this out, and this is really, really helpful because uh, this can be used in so many situations. If you need to extract. Um, if you've had like a, a leak in something, uh, you can just put this in and you can hand pump the leak out. You can use this in a survival situation. Uh, if you put, you can actually just put this into like a crevice and to pump water out into a clean um, canteen or into a cup or something. Uh, if you need to put some um, a length of like tubing, you can attach this to the tubing, and then this part here, this gives you a good illustration of if the water is dirty or not. Um, and then you can also take a sample of that water uh, with um, those pH strips and just check that there's no acidity or high al alkaline level in the water. These are really easy to just every time you finish one of those um, soap bottles just rip, uh, just open this out, screw it out and keep them. Um, this has come in so handy already. This is really good. Um, Loctite, brush on, um, super glue not much explanation there, but brush on super glue is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is tool oil. This is for my Leatherman and my Swiss Army knives. I'll talk about this in a minute. 
uh, BCB um, survival saw. Now I know there's a lot of people who don't like this, but I absolutely love this thing. Uh, I've used this when I uh, when I was doing a project at home. I needed to um, put some ply cut some plywood, and um, for me as a disabled person, I found this to be absolutely perfect. So I bought a couple of extra ones, and this is one of the extra ones that I put into my travel kit. Uh, this is just um, some wax for my shoes. Spare batteries, AAA. Uh, I wear a uh, what an um, a, an uh, an insulin pump, and I also wear a um, life systems pump, which regulates my body, and it takes AAA batteries. So I always have to have to stash and keep spare AAA batteries with me. Also, AAA batteries go into my GPS devices as well. Um, Leatherman rebar. Uh, I have fallen in love with the Leatherman rebar. It is lightweight. It is small. It comes with a replaceable cutter. Uh, uh, sorry, um, and I know, and this has two knives on it. It has a saw and so on. But I mean, this is just a perfect multi-tool. Um, I EDC a Leatherman wave, uh, but uh, the Leatherman rebar really has earned its place in there, and I really, really like having this with me. It's just security. Uh, this is again. This is a boot polish, um, and I've been taking polish off my my boots. But this this part is like a, a brass wire, um, bra brass wire brush. And if you really need to scrape something off, some you know heavy mud or some sort of rust, um, this is absolutely perfect for that. But it's actually for shoe polishing. It's to remove um, high gloss polish from your shoes when you want to get back to the actual um, the actual surface of the shoe. But um, I use it for a lot of things as well as my shoes. Uh, this is my Leatherman bit kit. Electrical tape, PVC electrical tape, standard PVC electrical tape comes in so very he helpful, especially with the electrical stuff that I have in there. Um, a, a small bar of 100% uh, natural beeswax. There are a gazillion uses for this, literally. Um, I actually used to carry beeswax just to add a little bit of spot of it to my uh, shoes and or to my boots. It gives it a little bit of a natural uh, water resistant, water, re no, excuse me, not water resistant, water repellent, but it's a, it's a good quality water repellent. Um, but again, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, for traveling, I have a um, a digital scale. Um, when I bought this, the um, the battery well wasn't very secure, but I didn't have time to replace uh, to replace it. I had to travel the next day, so I've just put some. Um, I just had some black, uh, some sort of strong kind of uh, duct tape type tape on here, just to keep the battery well t um, in in place. But it does work very well. I've um, and it's sort of served me quite well as well. <sighs> Tight to go. These are absolute lifesavers. These are absolute lifesavers. So always have one of these. And all of this gets checked into my luggage. Um, this doesn't go sort of into my uh, carry-on luggage. Uh, final two items, fuses. I carry a lot of camera gear with me, and my uh, the the plugs that you put into the socket to connect to the uh, chargers always they have like a five amp fuse and um, other things with me. Uh, I carry a lot of electrical stuff with me, so it's always good to have a spare set of fuses because I don't want to be running around uh, in in a city where I'm not familiar with, and it's just that self sufficiency thing for me. I know a lot of the stuff, maybe I, I you know a lot of the stuff people won't carry. I understand that, but I just like the self sufficiency um, element of it. Um, this is. This is known as um, sniper tape, but because the military use it. Um, but for me, it's an absolute fantastic thing. It's actually fabric tape, and it's really, really strong, good quality fabric tape. Uh, you can la layer. Um, say if you have a tear in your jacket or in your uh, bag or any any type of item, you can layer a couple of these on top of that, and then you can actually sew it on. You can also apply. Um, uh, the super glue with that. I mainly use this to uh, write my name on on things and uh, attach it to that. But also, it's perfect for repairing. 
Another thing I use this for is um, I my my bag of choice and my favourite bag for EDC and for uh, for um, uh, carry on uh, is uh, the Five Eleven Rush Twenty Four. I will never change that bag. I absolutely love that bag, but it has two drain holes right at the bottom. Now, obviously, those are for you know active people like you who are not disabled, like me, and you know all that stuff. You you know what I'm talking about. But for me personally, as just as an individual as myself, um, I I don't need the drain holes, so I need them to be covered, um, so dust doesn't get in because I ca I keep a lot of my medical stuff in there. So I. Uh, I tape up the holes from the outside and the inside as a double and um, yeah I mean I, I, I've had to change that tape like maybe once or twice over the last three years or something but I've used that this time and, it, and it's, it's it's like it's it feels almost like it's part of the actual um, skin of the bag um, and that's it I just carry it in a, um, a standard Ziploc bag and you can actually see um, I've done some very crude repairs to the bag, which is a normal stapler, uh, because I've had it so long, I've had this kit all together so long that it just kind of split, and I actually, when I was, uh, it, it was closed like this, and I just kind of ripped it, and so, but yeah, I mean, it, it's strong enough, I don't need a, uh, I don't need a pouch, because that adds weight, I know this ad adds weight anyway, but, for me, this is, um, validated weight, and I'm actually starting to move away from the pouches. I used to carry a lot of my stuff in tough, in tough, in good quality, tough, um, Ziploc, double Ziploc bags, um, double seal bags, um, and I'm, fi I'm finding that if I'm, uh, when I'm going back to them, um, uh, my actual bag is actually losing a lot of weight. So instead of carrying the Maxpedition and the 511 and the other actual pouches, I'm actually reverting back to these. Um, and my, my kit is absolutely fine with that. Um, any sensitive kit, like my expensive watches and my expensive pens, I just use these um, Derwent Artist uh, pouches. Um, as I've mentioned before in a lot of my videos, I absolutely love these. Um, they, they're really, really strong. And I, I have my, uh, my Rolex, my Amiga, my Zenith watches. I have them in there. Um, you know, in my bag, um, and they have never been. I've never had any kind of problem with them whatsoever. The final thing that I um, I went out today, and I um, I bought these. I actually did, wasn't looking for them, but I I came across them, and these are um, safety cables. I did want something like this, a steel safety cable, um, but I didn't want. I wasn't looking for some. I wanted something that didn't um, sort of. You know, there's the um, the ones that kind of expand and come back, expand and come back. I didn't want them. I wanted a, f um, you know, a set a steel cable. These are perfect. If you're going out, I like taking photos. Um, and I always need to secure my camera. Uh, you know, just in case someone tries to bump me and take it off me. I mean, it's happened before. Uh, it's happened before. And um, I don't want to lose my any of my Canon cameras. So this is perfect because I can... I can attach that to uh, my bag and have the Canon camera attached to the other side and that in its own case which goes around my um, my shoulder and that just gives it uh, because even if someone tries to pull it off it's not going anywhere I mean this is um, it can take up to 15 kilograms of load that is more than enough for someone if someone tries to cut this off me or someone tries to pull I don't I hardly ever go out anyway but uh, when I used to go out you know I have been I have you know had criminals try to take things off me and so on and so forth but um, just to also another thing that um, I always travel with when I when I travel I always have a few things that I put into my checking luggage and uh, I want to have a secure um, a secure um, wire a steel wire in my suitcase to uh, to connect the the secure boxes together so that for for you know, I'm going to say, you know, someone nefarious during um, airport airport security checks, um, my things don't get, when, when they are opened, they don't go missing, okay? Um, so if, if those are in locked boxes, they can x-ray the locked boxes, but the locked boxes stay, um, what is it called, connected to my actual physical suitcase. And that just gives me a little bit more peace of mind. And I was just lucky enough to uh, to come across the two. There was actually only two left on the on the on the counter. Um, a lot of stuff I know, but I it just makes my life a lot easier. And I thought it might just give you an idea if you're traveling, and you want to be self sufficient and so on. So thank you very much for watching, and um, let me know what you carry, and I'll see you later on other videos. Thank you. Bye.